uh, meeting of the Ward 5 ANC Redistricting Task Force. Um, I just dropped the link to the agenda in the chat. Uh, most of this meeting will be um, folks presenting, but I'm going to give a brief overview here at the top, and then we'll um, go into our uh, group presentations. Um, so we are uh, conducting this meeting in accordance with the open meetings laws. This meeting has been noticed uh, on websites and, um, and elsewhere in accordance with the uh, laws as dictated um, to us by the council. Um, I want to start by thanking all the committee members on here. I know you guys have been working and, and um, battling uh, the redistricting tool. So thank you very much for, for all the work you've put in um, so far. Um, as I said tonight, we'll hear from five groups. Uh, it's broken down by A and C. Um, the maps that I have received from folks that they wanted to share, I've put in a Google Drive, which is linked from that agenda, um, and uh, linked from the agenda in the chat. So um, folks can see those maps as well, um, and we'll be going over them um, by, the, by the groups that made them. We've um, allocated 10 minutes for each presentation, and we're asking that we do Q&A and discussion at the end. Um, folks are welcome to use the chat, take notes on their computer. They can even send them in um, on the Google group if, if that's helpful or if there's stuff you want to share after the meeting that you might think of. Um, we don't want to, you know, we didn't want to get sidetracked on an early group and then shortchange other groups. So we're going to try and get through the presentations and then, and then open it up for the um, the committee. Um, just to let folks know what we're doing after this, um, we'll have these presentations tonight and these maps from these groups. The chairs will come together um, in the next week and create some discussion maps for, um, uh, for the public and the committee to uh, um, review and comment on and, um, and all of that. So the discussion maps will be posted um, on March 15th, a week from today. And then the next meeting of this group will be here on Zoom again on Tuesday, March 22nd at 6 p.m. Um, at that time, I hope we can vote on a report. If we, but if we can't vote that night, I think it's okay if we if it takes an extra day or two and we can do a an electronic vote or something. So that's not like um, set in stone as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then the, the report is due to the council on April 1st, which is a Friday, and obviously the day after the end of this month. Um, with that, uh, I would like to invite the group that worked on ANC 5A to share. I don't actually have your map, so if you want to share a screen, um, please bear with us, audience, as we, um, as we try and wrangle the Zoom here. Uh, Nolan, I have a question. Oh, um, please. This commissioner, this Sandy Washington, uh, good evening, everyone. Glad to see everyone here. Uh, the fund's beginning now. Um, is it just going to be one person per group that will be uh, explaining the uh, map? Is that something we're doing or is it the group itself? No, I think more than one can. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, Emily, I see your comment and we're going to make sure that gets up there. I don't have a copy right now, but I will make sure it gets up there tonight. Okay. Um, Thank you. So Jeremiah, are you are you sharing from your computer or Anthony? Do I have to give you rights to do that? Well, let me let me say this first of all. Nolan is the person who uh, asked Mr. Montague to come and help us. Um, uh, is Tiffany? Do we see Tiffany Bridges? I do not see <laughs> Tiffany here now. Okay. Um, anyway, five A. Uh, I know we have. We're still having some collaboration. Uh, we're still talking about renumbering of the ANCs. We're still talking about adding the ANC. Uh, we're still talking about a few things among ourselves. We don't necessarily have a map unless Mr. Montague did something on his own. I have one, but I'm not ready to present it tonight. Okay. Um, so that's kind of where we are. We, we have some discussion topics, and I will say this. We've heard the public loud and clear, especially with 5804. Um, and we are having those discussions among ourselves. We hope to produce a map shortly. And I want to thank 
I'm a, a few people I want to thank some of the residents who have been helping us and chiming in and giving us comments. Uh, Jeremiah Montague, as well as Tiffany Bridges, as well as uh, Mr. Joseph Bowles and others. So that's kind of where we are. I know Jeremiah may have some additional. One of the other things we're looking at is adding uh, a similar, I mean, uh, a uh, similar district within 5A, uh, but there are some other caveats that we're looking at, and that's ANC 5E as well as ANC 5B. So we're still having discussions. Uh, we kind of got a late start. That's where we are. But I, if Jeremiah has something to add, or Tiffany or anyone else, they can do that at this time. So I'll turn it over to you, Jeremiah, if you have anything to add. Um, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Uh, real real quick, um, com uh, Mr. Hood is absolutely. <laughs> Oh, he's calling Mr. Hood. Uh, he's absolutely correct. Um, we are in the process of trying to um, adjust our, our map plan or our map strategy. We, we basically know where we're going and we know what we have to do. I did, um, with working with the tool today, I did a question popped up in my mind and that the tool has a preset target of 2,422 uh, persons in a, a single member district, whereas I read that from uh, chairman uh, of uh, redistricting. Uh, yeah, I mean, that may be the output of the default tool. Um, the SMDs are, we're strongly with them between 1900 and 100. But in the interest of everyone's time, I think um, I, I appreciate you guys, the work. Um, if we could, if you guys can just share that map, uh, when you've got it in the next day or so on the Google group, and then um, we can sort of take it from there. Does that work for uh, that the good. group? Um, and I do want to let folks know that are watching as far as um, the Google group that we share, the committee shares information on is public. So there's a link to it again in the Google doc. So if you want to see what traffic is coming through and what the committee is saying, um, that's out there for you to view as well. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, let me just say, I don't want to put anybody on promise land. It may take us a while to get our schedules together, but we will have some sufficiency set the next day or two. Okay. Uh, I, also, I also want to thank you and Ms. Washington and Adrian Jordan as well for helping us as we move along through this process. But I don't put anybody on promise land. So you said the next day or two, but we're going to get it as soon as possible and put it up there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, I know we got a last member of 5A and just came in. Um, so... I don't know if they have anything to add or we can move on. Um, all sure right. My colleagues come. Oh, you got it. You, do you want to say something, Tiffany? No, I was just saying, I'm sure my colleagues on the committee covered it. Cool. And you can watch the, watch the recording later if you want. Um, with that, we're going to turn to 5B. Um, who will be presenting from the 5B group? I will, uh, Nick. Nick, do you want to share your screen or do you want me to share mine with your map? Um, if you, yeah, if you want to share yours. Okay, yeah, I'm happy to do that. Give me two seconds. Why are you doing that, uh, Noah? Uh, Ursula was, was in the hospital. I don't know if she's gotten out or not. Oh, no. I I'm so sorry to hear that. I just I want us that. to know that if she, she was in this morning. So I don't know if she got out today or not. She's been there almost a week. So I just want people to know that. Okay. Oh, dear. I did not know that. Yes. Um, so thank okay. you for sharing. And, and mm -hmm. we'll certainly keep her in our thoughts um, and keep that in mind as we're, as we're doing this. Um, I, if, can folks see that map now of 5B? Yes, it's on the screen. Yes, right, it's cool. on the screen. You got it, Nick? You want to take, go? Yeah, uh, so when working with this map, um, looking at the numbers, uh, 5B04 and 5B03 had grown the largest in ANC 5B. Um, so it made sense for me to put a new SMD between them. Um, I heard from the other members of my committee that uh, 12th Street was the large commercial district in this um, ANC. And so it made sense to me to put uh, multiple SMDs touching 12th Street so as to break up the amount of license work that uh, any one commissioner would have to do. 
Um, additionally, along Rhode Island Avenue, I uh, had three SMDs touch Rhode Island Avenue as a, there is a lot of uh, businesses and new developments there. So that no one SMD would have uh, an abundance of work. Um, and that is the most explanation I have for why this map looks the way it does. Um, yeah. Cool. Thank you, Nick. Does anyone? Well, all right, we will keep it moving then. If I can figure out how to stop sharing my screen. Okay. Thank you, Nick, and the and the five B map. Um, to the comment in the chat regarding the five five A O one, that external one that had like seven thousand people in it is just a placeholder. So you ignore the yellow on that map and and for possibly future maps, and and just pay attention to the other shades in the center. Yeah, someone responded to that in the oh, chat. Because yeah. yeah. um, who do we, who's doing five C? Uh, is this you, Adrian? Adrian. Yeah. And I think you have mine. So if you can share your the screen, it's easier. I can just talk to it. Yeah. Here, let me give me two seconds, and I'm sure. Sorry, I'm getting it up. Hold on. Uh, are there two, Adrian? Oh, they're the same one. There's just a zoomed in one. Yeah, I gave you two different looks at it, but I think one has yeah, I see it. the population. So maybe if you put that out, because there's some talking. It's coming. Yeah. Boom. Here we go. All right. Can you all see all that? Right. I can see it. So 5C is a little bit of a challenge. And I know we see one that's about 24, 2,500. Um, so we... Adrian, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but just for to lay the groundwork for folks watching, we should only be looking at the maps, the 5C maps here and just ignore the 5D, 5E, 5B, right? C as in Charlie. Yep. Okay, thank you. All right. So to honor what the task force has set out and what the council has set out for us. We more we kept the boundaries pretty much the same. However, I mean, as most people know and other committees know, we had one single member district, 5CO3, which was all of Fort Lincoln that had, gosh, what it had about 4,000 some odd people. So we had to create a new SMD, which is where you see the 5CO8. Um, Based on geographic boundaries, we wanted to keep what was historic and older Fort Lincoln together, but we didn't want to segregate them. So we included some of the new houses that have been developed over the last 10 years as not to just put all the senior homes and the older Fort Lincoln homes together and force old versus new. So we were cognizant of that. Uh, also Fort Lincoln is one precinct 139 so we wanted to keep it together and i know there has been some allowances for uh geographic locations populations keeping neighborhoods together so without knowing what the other groups had done in the constraints of the existing 5c boundaries this was what our group has put together so the only thing that really has changed was what you see is 5co3 and 5co8 um, but again, I mean, that's it. So we don't really have too much. We kept the boundaries mostly the same. No one expanded into any other ANCs. We just created one additional uh, single member district in Fort Lincoln. Okay. Appreciate it, Adrian. Let me see if I can get over to the 5D group. Um, is there someone from 5D who wants to speak? And I can either yes. share or they can. So there are two of us. 
Um, and are you sharing the screen or do you want me to share? Either way, uh, do you wanna? Okay. Oh, I don't know if I. Mm. If you want to share, Nolan, since you've got the stuff, yeah, uh, yeah, that would be great. If we can speak to it. Cool. Which one do you want first? Um. Well, you know, dealer's choice, whichever pops up first. <laughs> uh. Okay. You're on first, then Sadell so here. All um, right. You know, I'm not shy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're looking at five D. And this is communities of interest. Right. So basically the idea here was that we needed to create two additional single member districts um, due to an increase in population around Bladensburg Road um, and a, an enormous increase in population um, with all the housing at Union Market. Um, so uh, it definitely put us in a position where we uh, needed to uh, create those two new SMDs. We are right on the border um, of uh, Ward 7 now. Um, and so we're up against the river on one side and up against one seven, uh, Ward 7 on the south side. Um, so we don't have a lot of really uh, room to move around. Um, so what we did was, for the most part, keep a lot of the boundaries the same and then take into consideration things like zoning um, and similar issues that each part of the community is facing. So for instance, you'll see that there's an SMD focused um, on the part of the neighborhood that borders the Arboretum uh, there where you have a lot of housing uh, for both 5D01 on this map and 5D05. Um, we create a new, completely new district um, for 5D08 um, at Union Market. Um, that will have a lot of licensing uh, issues um, due to a lot of the commercial development in that area. Um, and then in the other residential zones, we try to keep um, communities together that have actual similar zoning um, so that you don't have commissioners sort of working on zoning and development cases um, for a lot of different zones um, and those neighbors not having a lot of uh, uh, similar interests in terms of the development. Um, we did try to focus some attention around Bladensburg Road and the different things that are happening there. So the upper portion has a lot of uh, commercial activity going on. The lower por portion is mostly residential with some businesses near Benning Road. Uh, so that's kind of the focus of that map there. And then making sure that each neighborhood um, is uh, close enough together so that there are uh, meeting places uh, that are easily accessible for the residents to get to um, to discuss the issues when they're having meetings uh, in the future. Uh, so that's the, the primary focus of that map. And if you want to show the next one. Yeah. Uh, hold on, bear with me a sec. This is minimal change. Mm -hmm. Okay. So really the goal of this map is to kind of minimize the change as much as possible um, uh, in terms of the SMD. So you see 5D01 um, really uh, remains quite similar to what you see today. Um, and so do most of the SMDs. And then we try to limit the change to the areas where there uh, was the most population growth. So you do still see um, that Bladensburg area uh, in the 5D04 zone represented um, for the residential side of things. Um, and then you do see a new district for 5D08 to represent a lot of the new housing uh, that's gone up in Union Market and the commercial district. Um, so this gives an opportunity um, for us to still, uh, you know, have places for people to actually meet for in-person meetings once we return to those. Um, and it keeps things as close to the same um, as uh, we could possibly see how to do it um, while still creating those two new SMDs that were needed um, by just limiting our focus to the areas where we saw the most growth in the population. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then I'll uh, 
get Jeff's map up here. Yeah, there you go. Are you all seeing the new one? Yellow on the outside. All right. Yeah, thanks. I guess. Okay, so what um what we did with this map, um, it's a little bit little bit more change here. Uh, the numbers are all quite different from existing SMDs, I think. So don't worry about those. But one thing we did is we took the area north of New York Avenue uh, from the red line heading east to Montana Avenue that is between New York Avenue and the tracks. Um, narrow strip of land, not a lot of people there, but there are, according to the census, about 30 in each of those uh, who live at the hotels. And we thought we would add those in to the um, Ivy City SMD and the new Gallaudet and Union Market SMD so that they would, um, they'd be closely related to the folks who they're just across the street from instead of the current uh, Brentwood ANC that they're part of where most of the people are actually more than a quarter mile away, at least across the Ivy City rail yard and stuff like that. Um, the districts 5D03 through 5D05 through Trinidad uh, are pretty similar to existing ones uh, with like a break around Oat Street and Holbrook Terrace. Um, the big change here is there is a, a new SMD that basically runs uh, up up and down Bladensburg there that takes in the eastern edge of Trinidad and the western edge of Carver. Um, and then 5D08, there's a big, uh, a big change here where um, we tried to get all of Carver Terrace together into one SMD where currently Carver is, Carver Terrace apartments are split up into three SMDs. And this was just so that um, thinking of, of future issues that may pop up with Carver for um, updates that they're gonna to need to be making with maintenance and whatnot in the future here so that that could all be focused on one commissioner instead of having three different commissioners um, needing to work with the apartment complex on that. Uh, and then, you know, some other, some tweaks there with 5D09, the last one that contains um, Langston, uh, it's, grown just a little bit over to the uh, west. But all you'll note that all three of the um, SMDs that are inside of Carver Langston all fall under 1900 people, as does the one that is Union Market and Gallaudet. Um, you know, that was in part, as Seidel mentioned, because we can't grow, we've got Ward 6 Ward seven and the river on the edges there. So there's not really a lot of places to go to get more population. And um, it's just kind of is, is we're thinking of if we have to ask for an exemption here, this is because this is keeping communities together more and we're less worried about actually hitting the actual numbers, but we're, we're close and they're all very similar in size. All right. Yeah, appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Jeff and uh, 5D. All right, we're making good time, y'all. We are, well, I guess we haven't got to the discussion yet. Um, so next up obviously is 5E. Um, and I, do we have, uh, is there someone from 5E that wants to present? I do wanna acknowledge, um, we've been joined by um, a commissioner uh, who, currently represents some constituents that are being moved into Ward 5 in the far southwest corner of Ward 5 by New York Avenue and between New York Avenue and Dunbar, right by the New York Avenue Rec Center. Um, and so that's something that, and um, we've been approached, but that'll, that'll border Ward 2 in the future. And we've been approached by some folks on the Ward 2 side, the current commissioner about possibly collaborating on moving those blocks um, into the ANC that's that's in Ward Two, so we'll um, Commissioner Nigro, I see you there, and we'll give you a minute to um, chime in on this in a second. But I just want to get the Five E group going first. Uh, 
Hey, Nolan, this is Sarah. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sarah. Um, I think our group talked about Michael giving an overview. So I believe he's here and ready to go. If you want to start with just kind of the overview with the red and the blue, sure. and we can get more into the, into the actual SMDs. That'd be great. Great. Yeah. Okay. We should have the five E map uh, up now. Mr. Clark, do you want to go ahead? Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, this was a kind of a challenge here in 5E. Uh, we've experienced a tremendous amount of growth on the Eckerton Edgewood side of 5E. So, and uh, we have 10 SMDs currently in 5E, boarding on the northwest and northeast side of North Capitol Street. So with the increased uh, population, uh, we had one ANC that doubled in population down by the trail and the, and the uh, new departments that have been developed there and along 3rd Street and 2nd Street uh, Northeast. So uh, looking at the map, we tried many different scenarios to keep it within a, a workable range. So we had come up with a plan to uh, split ANC 5E uh, from the northwest to the northeast side because the greater growth was in the northeast side. And we would add three SMDs on the northeast side, including Eckington and Edgewood because of the uh, data that we had to work with. So the dividing line would be North Capitol Street for let's say 5E and this for discussion's sake, 5F. And uh, Roll out an avenue uh, would be another dividing line, but some of the SMDs would cross over uh, from Edgewood to Eckington on the Roll out an avenue side, still in Northeast. But uh, to make it fit, uh, every uh, SMD and and the Edgewood Eckington side increased greatly in population. So we had to uh, split the instead of going to thirteen SMDs, we think that. Uh, Splitting it between the northwest and northeast side is to uh, is the best way to go at the moment. Great, thank you. Um, was there more? Was is that it, or do you do you guys want to share anything else? I think the other is the other map just a blow up of the uh, more detail, or yeah, yeah was, Glenn, that's correct. But just more detail. Uh, but as you can see, even in the Northeast side, uh, we still have populations that were over the 2000. So even with yeah. the split. So we didn't have, uh, the Northwest side really didn't have that much growth where we had to make a lot of adjustments. Yeah. Great, thank you very much. Um, I think uh, it's, let me stop sharing. Good, Matt. Um, Commissioner Nigro, are, are you there? Hi, everyone. Thank you, Nolan, for uh, letting me speak. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Commissioner Rochelle Nigro. I'm a commissioner for currently 6E04. I currently represent the two blocks that have now been moved into Ward 5. These two blocks encompass the area right by Dunbar High School and the New York Avenue playground. So the north part is the 200 block of N Street. The eastern border is the 1200 block of Kirby. Morgan Street, the 200 block of Morgan Street splits the two blocks. The southern border is the 200 block of New York Avenue. The eastern border is the 1200 block of New Jersey Avenue. So an idea was presented, um, Nolan received an email from our Ward 2 redistricting committee. The idea is that these two blocks actually for a single member district be a cross ward single member district. So it would be a Ward 2 slash Ward 5 single member district. And the idea that why this came about is this is the area they used to call the chimney. And some of you might be familiar with that nickname if you've been around for a very long time. This area has been tossed around back and forth every redistricting. And for the first time, um, the constituents told me for the last 10 years, 
that they felt that they were part of a community. And that community is the area that is west of New Jersey Avenue. So that is the idea is to take those two blocks and make them into the single member district that crosses New Jersey Avenue. So I don't know, Nolan, do you, do you wanna share a map or I, I can share it? Yeah, here, I can share this map. Okay, great. That one here. And thank it's you everyone for your time. And this uh, to let you guys know, this also, this, this, this it's cross, a little, uh, go ahead. It's so a little, this cross, uh, this cross single member district, cross ward single member district is actually exists in ward three and four currently. Um, so you can see the two blocks, right? So there's Morgan Street in the middle. So those two blocks would be part of a single member district, ward two, ward five. For continuation of yeah. community, that's... And so we'll, um, uh, we have a question from the audience, which ANC are you proposing that be in? So it would be in the Ward 2 ANC. It's, yeah, they're moving to Ward 2. And so it would be with Shaw, right, going sort of Correct. where you guys are now. So even though, the, so let me make it clear, the, the, they would still be Ward 5, right? No, one's no one can change the ward. They are actually in Ward 5 right now. So as of January 4th, these constituents are in Ward 5. So with the single member district, it would be a, uh, would be a part of an ANC in Ward 2. So it's an idea um, you know, we'd like for you to consider the, the constituents that are over there are actually on board with the idea. Yeah, uh, and we've got some questions in the chat, but sure. I think um, I'm gonna, but some of them are sort of discussion. I mean, you know, we, I'll just share some of the process here. We, we heard from the ward to um, redistricting task force and put them in touch with the 5E group and asked them to just sort of discuss it. So that was kind of putting a lot on their plate, I recognize. So it's, um, so this is something that we'll have to field um, uh, this sort of inquiry or, or idea um, as a group um, in the next week or two. So that. I agree uh, with you on that, Nolan. That'll be. So we, do, we just, on behalf of all the constituents there, I wanna say thank you for the consideration. They appreciate it. And for the time that is taken. Awesome. Thank you very much for coming. And, uh, and well, thank you. Here. Um, well, that, that's most of our presentation, or that's all of our presentations for tonight. Um, so I will open it up for, for questions or discussion. We've got about 35 of them in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, so Nolan, I, I had my hand up, but yeah, please go ahead. I probably had the easiest question tonight. I wanted to ask um, 5D and 5E. I noticed in your maps, was renumbering a, a part of your consideration, or did you renumber? I'm just curious because it looks like it was a nice, smooth transition in chronological order. Five E. Did I didn't hear Oh, who's the question for, Mr. Hood? Oh, I, oh, I mean, oh, for anybody from 5D, I guess, Sabelle, Sub and whoever from 5E. Um, 5D is in 5D, 5D and 5E. Yeah, I was just curious, because that's one of the things we we're considering. I think the primary thing for us was just trying to make sure that we added those two new SMDs. Um, so we didn't so much focus on the renumbering, um, even though we did try to kind of take a logical approach and just move kind of east to west in terms of the numbering. Um, but mostly we just focus on uh, just adding those two new SMDs. Thank you. You've answered my question. Thank you very much. And if 5E wanted to respond, if not, I'm good with that answer. Thank you. 5E, we kind of went the same route uh, due to the population uh, that we were, the data we were dealing with. And it seemed smooth when we added uh, to the northern part, we added uh, in e Edgewood, we added uh, two SMDs and in Eckington, we added SMD because uh, it kind of flowed right together. So I know it's still some tweaking maybe, but that was the uh, almost a natural progression we have to go with. Okay, thank you, Mr. Clark. But I just see the, the numerical order, it just looks good to me. So thank you both, thank you. Sure. Rafi, did you have a comment or a question? 
Sure, um, I have a, some questions for the group that worked on 5C. Um, specifically, so many of your SMBs are beyond the 2100 number. Um, and then we've got one that's beneath the 1900. Did you all consider adding uh, any, I know you all added one SMD. Did you all consider adding any additional SMDs um, just so that we could be a little bit closer within the, the range? We did, and I'll make sure no one has it. We had one that had a 5C09, but given the large land area of Arboretum, where it's just landlocked, there's not a lot of people, and most of our residents' growth was in Fort Lincoln, it became hard to evenly distribute it like that unless we encroached into 5B and a little into 5D. So it was more of a catalytic approach to make it balance in that nice 2000 range, we would have to just keep shifting and shifting to smooth it out based on where our growth was. And I'll make sure Nolan has that, that map so that folks can kind of just look at it. Um, and it might help when we combine all of these together in case we want to move some of these uh, existing boundaries as well. Great. Was that that was your question, Rafi? Uh, uh, Ms. Shirley, are you? I think you've got your yes. hand up. Yeah, well, please. I'm looking at the numbers from A to E, the balance is so off. I mean, you what have one A and C commission that is almost double another one, rather than over the years have always been that's how you got a new A and C because you had to move out of that into another one. They seem to take the numbers and put them into the same A and C's. And that makes that number so, that group so full and the other group so uh, unpopulated. So I think we need to look at the fact that with all the growth, it makes sense to have a new A and C, E and F, rather than to increase 3,100, 2,600, 2,200, and others are 18 and 1,900. I mean, it's, it's just, it's not balanced out. I mean, A and a and C and D and E are almost completely opposite of what it is. So my question is why, I mean, they, they just presented their maps. I understand that, but we need to look at the back of balance of the A and Cs. So that's yeah. what I'm I mean, one question I have that's sort of global is some of these commissions coming are coming in um, with six members, I think, which is obviously an even number. And I'd be curious to hear folks' thoughts um, if that's a real barrier and something we should like deliberately avoid, or maybe it's maybe it's not so. Well, let me just so say, bad. as a former a chair, five and six is hard numbers, with all the work A and C commissioners have to do. When I was five B, I had was the chair and the treasurer, and we only had five people. It is too difficult to work now the way with Zoom and all the way things are going now. So we need at least a. To me, our number should be where we're having a seven, at least a seven, so that we'll be able to stretch the duties across the commission. Right. And I was just going to add that I agree with that. And just, just a note that we're no longer allowed to have a chairperson who is also the treasurer. Right. Um, so even setting up a situation where that is the most likely way of ANCs having to do business is really challenging in terms of being able to handle the workload of the overall commission. And one thing I was happy to see, at least in the 5D maps, is that the, the population numbers seem to suggest that we needed two new commissioners. And so that bumped us up even from seven to nine, um, which I do think is preferable because we're in a situation right now where oftentimes we lose commissioners and then you're having more than half of the commission acting um, as the, uh, you know, secretary, chairperson, vice chair, um, and so on. So it does, um, you know, it does add some, some help for the commission's overall workload. Yeah. And to answer your question, Nolan, I do have my hand up for another question. But, you know, in my experience, I think if the commission is large enough, the even odd is less of an issue 
Um, and Sandy, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we had an even number and we never had a tie for anything, but because we had more than four or five, you know, we had eight members. You're right. Them. Yes. I would prefer an odd number, but I think when you have a larger commission, I mean, the odds of two people agreeing in A and C sometimes is, is hard, mm-hmm. but, you know, I don't think it matters that much if the, if the amount of commissioners is large enough. The other, the one other advantage of larger commissions is that your stipends, um, you can make your sort of administrative expenses, um, scatter, I guess, spread them out across more SMDs. So it winds up uh, feeling like you have a little bit more money to spend because your office is, your office expense is the same expense, whether you have a five person commission or a, you know, nine or whatever. Um, Adrian, did you have another question? Question, comment, or concern. Uh, we'll see where it ends. So to answer Rafi's question a little bit more, and I think if we look at this holistically, the issue that 5C has is very similar to the issue I think 5A is going to have, where their growth is at the northern boundary, I think 5A08. So in order to shift that into a either a new A and C, they're going to end up having to encroach on what's currently either 5E or 5B. So I just wanted to point that out to highlight the issue we had in 5C. Uh, we can do it, but I think we have to move to a point where now we all have to come together and start moving the dominoes there. Because if you look at where 5A08, and I don't know if anyone has the map up, I'm, unfortunately I have this memorized, if you were to give it to 5A03, they're already over. So now right. you're giving away until you go down and down and down just to split these things up. So, um, you know, I think there's going to be have to be some wholesale changes and people might not be happy with it, but based on where the geographic growth is on the extremes, you know, there are going to have to be some changes. Uh, maybe it looks like, in my opinion, and I would vote for 5B is obviously going to have to get a lot bigger than what it has been the last 10 years. Yeah, that'll, I mean, that is the challenge. Um, are there any other questions or, that folks had? There's a bunch in the... Uh... I did, uh, Commissioner Branham is in the chat asking if there's yeah. maybe a way for the public to comment um beyond the, the committee and so i was suggesting that we'll provide a way for public comments to be to go in along with the discussion maps when we publish those uh next tuesday so that'll be up essentially for a week i think march 15th through march 22nd i just came up with that so uh if folks want to overrule me now's your chance no <laughs> you're um, good um as far as the person's question about the map for 5A, they were referring to the current map uh, as the, there isn't a revised one at this moment. Oh, hmm. Uh, I'm just reading a comment from, from a Connor Shaw or from Eckington. He, he's mentioning that he's not aware of SMDs that cross boundaries as opposed to A and Cs as, as far as the issue goes with 5E, because that would be an SMD that would that would cover uh, ward two and a part of ward five. And I guess the way it works, the current cross ward A and C, which is across wards three and four, I guess doesn't, uh, the SMDs follow the ward lines where they can. Um, I think uh, to answer Betsy's question, sorry, I'm obviously reading this as I go. The efforts to break up um, census blocks. Um, we've been advised to not do that, um, just to put it in, in basic terms. I think there is a way, somebody else here may know this better than I do, uh, or wants to speak to that. I'm trying to find the information we were provided with yesterday that, um, that highlighted some of that. Can you repeat the question, Nolan? The question was about breaking up census blocks. Oh, 
And the question, yeah, could someone briefly speak about the efforts made to not split up census blocks? Hey, Nolan, while you look for the guidance, I, this is Sarah, I worked with the software quite a bit and the mapping software that we all as committee members have access to prevents you from splitting the census block. When you click on an area, it grabs that entire census block automatically. So I know there's a way later in the process to adjust that, but none of the maps presented tonight did split census blocks because it's just not possible. That was my understanding too, that it's strongly discouraged, but it's possible. Um, we did receive a message from the uh, council subcommittee on redistricting last night that covers some of this. And I'm sharing that a link to that in the chat. It was shared on the Google group um, that reiterates um, the principles of redistricting um, that we're, we are to use. Um, So I have a question for the 5B. Oh, Jeff, are you? do you have your hand up? You want to talk? Yeah, yeah, just a quick Sorry. comment. That's okay. I just put it up. Um, a quick comment on, on block splitting. Like, I, from what I remember from 10 years ago, the only block split that was really discussed was uh, one of the blocks that the convention center is on. Um, there was an apartment complex along 7th Street that was kept, that was put in Ward 6 while the convention center itself was put in Ward 2. Um, but I, I, I know it's, it's something that they do not want to do if possible, if at all possible. No, and I believe that was in the original instructions um, that we got. Yeah. I mean, it's when a we law, first started. It's a, yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. Really the law and Connor placed right. the law in the chat. Yeah. As I, I'm, I'm looking through it now. Yes. I mean, looking at, um, I was wondering about the 5B group. I know, I think I saw some of your meeting. You were considering moving the, um, I can share this here. Um, Moving the, I mean, I wonder about moving the SMD boundary in, on the lower right over to Rhode Island Avenue, and that would maybe relieve some of the burden in 5C um, and make 5B bigger so we wouldn't, we wouldn't have a six-person commission here. Uh, the map we were working on was a, a, five, a Ward 5 draft map that I had uh, created for the entire ward. It did move 5B03 down to Rhode Island. Um, and take some from 5C, yes. And uh, additional, it uh, created, uh, it took a little bit from the northern part of 5B to give to 5A. Yeah, it seems like there's a natural break along the north side there between uh, St. Anselm's over to Providence. Um, just sort of cutting diagonally across South Dakota for maybe the northern boundary that you've pretty much got there. Um, but what about the numbering of how it starts one, five B in the northern oh, yeah. part, it comes down to two, three, and then it goes six, four. Yeah, we can, we can, we can relabel these certainly yeah. as we get the numbers balanced. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, uh. That was my thought. Um. As much fun as we're all having here, I don't, you know, we don't need to sit here all night. I think I, I'm going to yeah. move to adjourn this um, uh, meeting unless anybody's got any further questions or comments. Questions? Um, 
I would some of the answer. questions in some of the questions in there, they're asking if we're taking things away, but no, nothing's final. I mean, yeah, we're, we I still mean, have to look at it. <laughs> I think these maps are obviously out there and should be looked at and they'll be um, used as sort of a basis for, for what we put out next week. But um, I think hopefully we'll uh, have some, have some hard stuff to be able to comment on next, next week, next Tuesday. Uh, Miss Evans. Yeah. So we'll, we'll release maps next Tuesday for the entire ward at once. So there'll be at least two, possibly more maps to consider that take into account different um, aspects or ideas and um, weigh those, and then we will um, receive comment on, on what those. Um, Nola, can you address that? Someone's asking about no map for 5A. In yeah, the, the 5A one, I think, is coming tomorrow or possibly <laughs> next day. A couple day. of days, right, a couple uh, of days from now. Yeah, this is happening who are part of 5A. Again, what I said earlier, we're going to put land. We're going to do that. Right. But we'll make sure that it's up. Uh, just right. give us a few days because we do do a few other things like everybody else. So, so it's right. it's coming. So just bear with us. And we, we've heard all the comments, Emily and others, of what you said about uh, uh, five A O four and others. So just understand, we're still having conversations among ourselves. So just be patient with us. We'll get it done. Thank you. Thank you, Mister Hood. And Nolan and Sandy, yeah. I do. I just want to shameless plug again. I think one of the things that we've heard are that folks want to keep neighborhoods together. So as you go to put these maps together, I think I've seen that in the chat. I know 5D did a really good job at it. We try to do it in 5C, but where we can keep neighborhoods whole, I think that should be a big priority with us as well. So at least I think we all agree to that. Yeah, I think that's that's something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Commissioner Picara is in the chat asking if the maps will be available in the redistricting tool software. Um, I'll do my best to make them available that way um that's certainly where we'll design them so if it's possible to share them that way we will but we also will make sure there's pdfs or or right. Im images or whatever something that's a little more accessible as well um okay so i, I appreciate everyone uh for being here and everyone's work on this and with that i think uh we will close the meeting thanks everyone yeah thank you guys for coming Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, yeah. all right. You got another question? No, I was going to answer <laughs> oh, some. Oh, okay. But they already answered, we already answered them. Okay. <laughs> Stop recording. Stop. Recording. Thank you, chairs. Thank you. Yeah, all right.